You know what I'm drinking? Some Turkish coffee. And why am I drinking some Turkish coffee? Because we're in a Turkish restaurant. We are in fact in one of the only kosher Turkish restaurants for sure. The only one in North America. We're in Bridge Turkish and Mediterranean Grill, Highland Park, New Jersey. We let him talk. Do you know anything about Turkish food? I know about the coffee and I know about uh, nothing else. So this place is very intriguing for people who are, you know, coach food enthusiasts, people who want to explore and learn new things. Do I know about Turkish food? Not really. I know some key items. We're here really to, again, to educate the palate and to learn what kosher Turkish food entails. This is called kadaif. So this is, I guess, a Turkish kadaif. It's a little different. It has, it's almost like a, it's a dessert dumpling. That's what that is, baby. That's gonna go down as the best dessert we may have eaten all year. There is no playing around on that one. Dump bread. Um, this is called ikmik. And uh, it looks almost like a pretzel-y type, yeasty type thing. We're gonna cut pieces. But you can tell they're using one of those great hot stone type ovens. This is just a sweet pepper type dip thing. Uh, it's out of this word, garlic. Right, acidic. The red pepper is really mainly the fruit flavor there. And then you have that salty garlic tea. Very bright. Really pop, 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 pop. And the bread is all crust, baby. So most people, I think, in the kosher keeping community would be fam most, most familiar with Turkish food through the meze platter, the salads. We have a baba ganoush. We have a Russian with the peas and the pickles. That's a classic. This is their version of shakshuka, no egg, just real pepper. There's a hummus that they do. And then they have this whole spicy veggie stew paste. Turkish food most really represents to me a uh, very meat-centric, heavy, heavy, hearty, hearty. Because there are heavy, heavy, hearty people, but there's a lot of that. There's, there's Middle Eastern influence, there's Asian influence, there's Eurasian influence. There's a lot of there's a lot of groups and identifiers and things that can get in there, and that's, you know, that's part of the great thing about exploring other cuisines. There's a cigar, we've all had a cigar, but this is decidedly Turkish. This is why we're here to learn what Turkish food is, because the inside of that cigar is lamb and beef. There's an acidic brightness that I'm digging in all the things, whether they're using a lemon or a sumac or something. It's much brighter, it's much richer. They have their own version of falafel, which you can tell already, it's a different color. It's a different crisp, it's a different shape. I happen to love the fact that it's a different shape because you can see more surface area means more crunchy. More crunchy, it's not the green. They mill this in-house every day. Put that in a sandwich, man. Oh! Get off the phone, man. <laughs> Everything that I've learned about Turkish food, nothing screams more Turkish than this. This is called the donor. It is the only kosher donor on any menu in North America. This is that shaved lamb and beef, and they shave it on a spit, and it's just shaved up and down. I don't like to get emotional on camera. We've been learning new things about food all over the country. The donor kebab, only place in the country you can get that kosher, but it is fascinating. In fact, tasting it, I would think that it's the kind of thing that tells us that they come from a non-kosher background, and they've probably only been kosher for about two months. That is a unique flavor profile that exists outside of kosher. It's lammy, beefy, charry, crunchy. Kebabs and skewers, shipudim, are a familiar sect of our food understandings. This is a brand new player in the mix. This is that charcoal, this is that cooked, this is that meat that is that grilled. But it's a different flavor profile. This is what Turkish food is all about here. This has been The Bridge Mediterranean and Turkish Grill, Highland Park, New Jersey.